What's going on everybody, Kenny Dubs here with another Mega Man X Type event video. Today we're taking a look at the Colonel's Valentine Challenge because that is the latest event in Global. Now for this event we have to find three hidden elements and they're hidden quite well this time to be honest. It took me a couple of tries and a lot of running around to find them. So let's jump into this level, shall we? All right, now starting off this stage, you might notice something a little bit different about this event. Each time you go into the stage, the dialogue plays again, and that's semi-relevant, I guess. Um, so what we're going to need to do is you're going to need to correct these Maverick data that are kind of just uh, praising their waifus. Uh, <laughs> this is the best way to put it in front of these, uh, these poster displays. And uh, it's actually a bit tricky to find all the hidden elements in this one because you have to do some specific things to trigger some, you know, some of the events. So for some of these, you're going to see me like kind of like trying to get into the right position. Or I don't know if it's position based or it's time based for getting these little fights where they trigger because the enemies get angry if you stand in front of their, their waifu post because they want to see your waifu. So over here... Uh, we're gonna jump over here and pick up this item right here, which actually isn't one of the hidden element chocolates we need to find. <laughs> I found that out the hard way. So I have to come around and do some more exploring. What you wanna do is you wanna come down here to right below where you picked up that, that element, or I guess that item, and uh, take care of the enemies in front of this poster right here. As you can see, I'm kinda jumping around because I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to get them to aggro me a little bit here. And after doing that, um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go backwards, right? Because if we go forwards, uh, the screen auto scores and you can't come back anymore. Now, by coming backwards, you actually run into Seal, who you need to talk to in order to get one of the one of the hidden elements because Seal is, you know, one of the poster, poster units for this, so she's going to be involved in the story in some way. And she was also the first one I, the one I missed the first time. She was the hardest one for me to find. So uh, we get that, we get the hidden element with that. I, I, I do like a little, little kind of look at it right there. And uh, off we go to the next one. And as you see right here, uh, the screen scrolls a little bit, so we wouldn't be able to go back and once you have come past this area. That's why I want to distrust that you want to be there uh, and not go forward past that. Now here, the enemies are kind of just like docile. And so what you're going to want to do, we can come over here to Furham and talk to her. And um, she's like, oh, you know, I'll give you the thing. And then she was like, all right, well, there's a lot of you, so you're gonna have to fight for it. So we have to fight quite a bit of enemies. You see there's a timer ticking at the top of the screen as well. So take out that wave of enemies, gonna dash over here, take out these enemies, gonna dash a little bit more, take out these enemies. I actually go a little bit further than I need to before I realize, like, oh, wait, no, I gotta go back because uh, one of the platforms is now moving. And this is important because we need to get the, um, I forgot what it's called. Oh my gosh. Uh, Ferris wheels uh, moving. In order to do that, we need to not miss a jump like I just did right there. <laughs> um, we need to hit a switch. In order to hit that switch, we need to go up this platform over here, dash to the left a little bit, dash more to the left, and traverse this wall right here because once we get to the top of this little inlet over here, there is a switch to press. And once we press that switch, once we press the switch, uh, the. What did I just call this? Uh, whatever I just called this, I forgot. This carnival ride is um, Ferris wheel. There we go. We'll start moving. And one of the enemies we need to get rid of is on here. Now, what I like to do for this is I like to try to get on top of this um, this Ferris wheel right here, this cart with the enemy was on, because it makes my jump a little bit easier for getting to the next portion. So I'm going to jump over to this uh, Ferris wheel. See, it's not moving. That's fine. Uh, we just need to um, do a little bit more platforming over here as well. Uh, get up this platform which for the, the moving one to come back down so you don't miss a jump otherwise it's a bit of a punishing walk back and right here you can actually miss this jump uh i actually miss it right here and uh it, is, it doesn't matter all that much because the way i figured out how to get this enemy in the first place was actually the hard way so i had to take the, the jump of shame as i i started calling it since i missed it <laughs> right there and uh, then you're going to go back and talk to Furham because if you don't then you won't get the chocolate from Furham. You also won't get it if you take too much time, like the timer runs out. So you're going to want to do that pretty quickly. It's sort of generous, unless you make a mistake with some of the platforming, then you'll be upset. Uh, I'm going to heal here. I think I heal a little bit too early, uh, but that, that's not relevant for this wave at all. I use 
Uh, I get my shield back up with zero, take out this wave of enemies because they're not too bad. And uh, this, this wave of enemies right here is, like I said, it's, it's, it's really not bad. And uh, shortly after this, I think, uh, this enemy right there, is there one more? There's one more. Oh, no, there's two more. After this enemy, we're going to go to the to the last uh, waifu of the stage, and that's going to be Iris. And we have to fight Colonel, because Colonel is an overprotective brother, and he doesn't want to give away his sister just yet. <laughs> um, so, Colonel actually isn't that difficult. Uh, however, I'm not that great with, uh, with the two weapons I have, as I haven't invested in them all that much. And I also didn't use... Uh, my Ryujin all that much, otherwise it would do more damage. And I get hit quite a bit here, as you can see, uh, versus Colonel. This is why I wanted to heal, because I didn't think that Colonel, the Colonel fight would go smoothly for me, and uh, I was I was kind of right. I mess up my jumps there, uh, jump over the shockwaves, and I actually get him really, really low right here, but then I fade away. Uh, unfortunate, because he was legitimately one hit from death, but it happens sometimes. So that's all you need to do for this stage. And as you can see, the, the, the candy hidden element is right behind us. So I want to dash back that and grab that. And that is your completion for the stage. Now, luckily, this stage doesn't have a timer. If it did, it would be a lot rougher, which is great. That doesn't have a set stage. Click, collect three pieces of chocolate, which are the hidden elements, and complete the stage with over 30% HP. So that's very, very nice. Uh, hopefully this video helped you guys out with finding these elements because it definitely was not easy for me to find this. I tell you what, I started with 25 AP and now I'm down to 12. <laughs> Just trying to figure out how to get this done. Anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed. If this video helped you out or you enjoyed, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps your channel, it helps your girl, it helps enjoying the content. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.